We're going to take a deeper dive into that game. Thank you very much, guys. Um, well, very interesting to see from both sides. Crepo, I think rightfully so, was still harsh on SK Gaming. But on the other hand, I couldn't expect them to be completely methodically correct in this one. And I feel like they should take a lot from playing the way they did versus I, Rocket. I think so, too. I think if you actually look at SK, um, in terms of their picks and bans, in terms of their play style and their decision making, they have actually rolled the clock back. And they're finding a way to make it work this week. You know, Yesterday, SK were able to punish Unicorns of Love misplays. Today, they were able to punish Rocket's passivity. But I think credit to SK for doing that. I also want to highlight both Sven Skirin and Fox. Sven, in both games yesterday and today, stepped up. Fox's Cassiopeia in this game was actually very impressive and very aggressive. And these are the two players that were going, I feel like I can't carry. I feel like nothing's working. I feel like it's, it's nothing. And now all of a sudden they've actually got some more confidence in their plan. It pays off. Yep, definitely. That's very good momentum from them carrying on into this one. You mentioned those two players. We saw the Lee Sin first pick coming out from SK, possibly taking it away from Jankos, but Sven Skarin had to do something then. What did you make of the early game in that regard? I think the early game was weird. Like, Ro Rocket just utterly confused me in this game. Like, first of all, the Nidalee pick, I didn't really see it fitting. Maybe for sieging or something, but I think something tanky would have been a bit better, even though there were some jungler bands. And then the lane swap, like, I, I, I didn't understand. Why, why would you lane swap in that game when you're facing away and it's like, oh, lane's pretty weak on lane, let's bring in lane swap. It made no sense whatsoever to me. Maybe I'm just a terrible analyst. And that was really just... <laughs> Uh, some small things that happened in the start, they started really snowballing in favor of SK. First of all, that lane swap, which allowed the Vayne Lulu to take down the bottom lane tower, get a long lane where now suddenly you can start trading with the Sivir and you can get these one-on-ones very quickly, which is why we see people pick Vayne into Sivir because you beat her obviously in that case. So that made it very hard for Rallis and Vanna to do anything once they swap back to the 2v2 lane. Then of course, Nukedog losing the mid lane as well, so suddenly all the pressure is gone. The Nidalee pick was here because there were three waves here of uh, three lanes, sorry, that could push in SK. In the mid lane, the Victor can instantly clear the waves. Top lane, Nars gonna push down the Shen. Bottom lane, the Savior was supposed to be able to push in the Vayne. So when you have three lanes pushing, you get in, you get in deep wards, and your jungler can then invade into the enemy jungle. You know, we can start getting some duels between Sven and Jankos. That couldn't happen because then they started losing lanes. They gave up tower in the lane swap. And that whole early game just collapsed and forced Rocket then to suddenly sit back and play super, super passive. And I also think if you take a look at some of the players on Rocket's side, again, they're just underperforming. I think that was one of Nuketuck's worst performances, the split. He got soloed by Fox a couple of times. His positioning was questionable. He got caught by Sven Skeren. And, you know, you touched on all the pressure Sven was applying. Yesterday, we were talking about how many buffs he was stealing away. It ended up being like two-thirds to SK. It wasn't quite as drastic in this game, but it was still in favor of SK, 50 to 60% of the mm -hmm. buffs going to SK to steal to, to control the jungles. It's just very smart play from SK leading the way from Sven Skeren. And also just to go back on Rocket a bit more, Chris, I feel like whenever we see Rocket play, there's just so many things we're saying, you guys should know better at the moment here. Their whole composition was made to run as a unit, five and to basically five versus just five. Just a Sivir comp, man. Just a Sivir comp. And then we have, on SK side, it's more split pushing, single out targets and so on. Rocket never got to a point where they grouped up and said, now we're going to try and force a team fight because he just fell so far behind and did absolutely nothing. Yeah, I feel like Rocket is like even more confused right now. It makes me think maybe Woolite was even the shot caller. Like he's farming a lane. He's like, all right, Steve, you go top now. You uh, nuke duck, take the blue. Then we are going to go for Baron. And then his how crap I'm caught the game is over. <laughs> That might have been a case. Well, we'll ask them next time they're on the desk. Before we look towards game two, let's get some hard-hitting questions from you guys on Twitter. From at Londo Leo asks, Cyanide, you have to tell me your secret of that perfect-looking suit. And what's your opinion on the Fischio sweater? <laughs> Uh, this is actually uh, RNS suit. So it's my shirt, by the way. This is my <laughs> shirt. Just yeah, saying. It's, it's all true. It's all true. I'm a kleptomaniac, but that is a really nice sweater, right? I, Can I, mean, I, I like it? it. Opinions? Yeah, it's it's great. I just feel like we're we're jumping down the rabbit hole every time we get a tweet up. I like it. Living dangerously, Trevor. I have nothing to add. Nothing to, this. to add. It's time for us to step away for a moment, but don't touch that browser. We'll be right back as H2K face giants right after this. What are they screaming? League of Legends. I, I, know, I, I heard Leroy Jenkins. No, it was like, Leroy like left side is Legal and right side is like Legends. 
Oh. Steve connects. Oh, goodbye, Steve. Oh, fantastic Snoop kick. Duck. Kick back in by Sven, but it doesn't matter. He's taken down by Rollins in the wrong direction, but it doesn't really matter as they're just all stalled out. Fox will throw down the petrifying gaze. Snoop Duck blows away by Fox. The Rock will take him down, but a double kill goes over to Fox. Is it going to be enough for him to end this fight and end this game? SK Gaming are the winners. That's two in a row.